Semi-finals, everybody! Third qualifier of the clutch battles at Laird.gg. Best of one series, and we got Demonic going up against Vizu Gaming. Yeah, it's gonna be an interesting one. Now, first of all, we have a couple of changes to the Observer mode for everybody that is slowly starting to catch up with this. There was a patch that changed a couple of things. Some of the weapons got slightly updated too. But one of the interesting things is that we now actually have in the overlay, we can see through walls, so we have those silhouettes. Another thing that you might have already seen here too is that you see on the other side also the loadout. So there's pretty much a weapon over each player's head. This is only for the first round and it's wrong. <laughs> so you see a lot of phantoms over there, but obviously as this is round one, nobody is able to afford a phantom just yet. So all those things will be gone starting round two. And then we can talk about uh, that a little bit more. There's also unfortunately another small bug that Riot introduced after the team switch sides. So uh, I gotta admit it, Riot is embarrassing them a little bit, themselves a little bit when it comes to the observer mode. I mean, it's getting better and they're adding new features, but they're always reintroducing new bugs. And it's a little bit embarrassing considering that most of these things should be fairly easy to spot. And then again, as we're heading into this now, Vizu is able to get the first kill, but it's a counter from Demonic. So first round here, or a couple of smokes about to hit. That's a nice cage setup for him now too. But they're starting to slowly push back into this. Out of charge. Uh, let's see what they can actually do with this. First one down. EPC takes PMZ down. The defenders lose another one as we get another quick kill here. And I really gotta say, the Sage player for. The Sage player for Visu Gaming has been absolutely rocking it throughout this tournament. I mean, there's a couple of these boys that have been doing so well. We followed them through a few games. EPZ in particular, together with RCK, they did just incredibly well. Hyper, Hyper also, just kill after kill after kill. So a lot of players that really push it for the team. Himsy with multiple quad kills through the previous few rounds. So uh, very good start for them now getting the first win on the attacker side. Now as you see the loadout over the heads are now gone so now we can actually focus on things a little bit more. Obviously we now also have hit point pools and the hit point bar which is kind of neat as well. So even a little bit more going on with that. Checking on the defenders over here. Obviously didn't really invest in a lot of weaponry as they lost the last round so this is more of an eco for them. And they're going to try and hold that. Trying to hold this, by the way, here in the middle. As we have PMZ going pretty much up against four right now. Most of them he just doesn't really know anything about just yet. Over here, here though. It's moving around to get the kill. But Dalalev is able to at least take Omen apart. But there's the next shot. This is obvious now also a bit of Guardian play that we're seeing. Which is kind of cool because we haven't really seen too much of the Guardian before the recent patch. But now that Riot actually dropped the price of the Guardian now from 2,700 down to 2,500. And introduced the wall penetration from uh, medium to heavy. It's a much better weapon now for the teams. And uh, can no be maybe left. used occasionally. Especially if you're a little bit low on uh, money. Over here, still an attempt to get some shots connected. Another headshot would maybe do the trick. But Feed takes down Linksy, the two Cypher players going up against each other. And that's a second round victory now for Visu Gaming. So an easy second round for them, obviously, since the opponent's team didn't really buy a lot. But this is going to be the one that's going to be the most interesting. Because obviously Demonic is now out buying Visu Gaming in round three. And the big question that has to be answered is just simply... Can Visu Gaming lock that third round in as well? Because if they do, that would be just a fantastic setup for them. We're going to stick with the Cypher player for now. He has the Guardian, and since the weapon got changed, just still want to see what he can pull off with that. Seems like everybody is attempting to go for B for now, except for him. Uh, he takes this one down easily. So far, so good, but the action is centering much more heavily now on to B as we have MRE getting slowed down. That's a gauge, he gets a good kill though against Hyba. That was an important one. That was a pretty sweet cage uh, too that we saw over here. Nice half smoke that allowed them to get a bit of a peek. Take flight. And they still gather information here, of course. They still have one around over here. Keep in mind, Cypher for the attacker side is still looking over to A. But it's a slow approach now as Sage is rotating over through spawn and right trying here. to set up position over there. But this is not going to be easy for Feeling them to, uh, to get a hold of either because we have a pretty 
pretty locked down a spot too i mean we got rays over here we got sage the two of them defending the rest of the attacking side is now moving through the middle yeah, and i'm gonna run straight into dave who is able to get the kill Nice, gets one kill in, slows them down even further. Over here, another kill from Dolken. Gets one, gets two, flawless victory. Incredibly well done. That's a great round for them. Demonic with a fantastic round here. Not only did they win the round, as I said previously, they had the advantage, so they were kind of supposed to, but they were able to do it without losing a single agent. So, not a single kill for Visu Gaming, which means they didn't get any money there. They weren't able to, uh, to plant the spike either. So, from a money perspective, that was a bit of a fail for them. And, yeah, it shows. Hyba only has a Sheriff at this point. He's not going to be able to afford any big weaponry now. <laughs> now, to be fair, we still got against RCK, who got boosted up a bit by Sage with his weapon over here. Oh, well, with the Operator, so he's able to maybe get a long shot in. But Shadows still... Traveling. Having only a Sheriff over there might become a little bit of an issue. Okay, so defenders. Pretty much locked down. It's a little bit of noise made by Sage over on B, but most of them are looking towards A now. As they're starting to push through a little bit. But it's a really good position that we have for Demonic. They're playing this one pretty far back, so they're not really poking out too much. They're still sitting back, waiting, not really being aggressive, not trying to peek out or anything, and just really waiting for Visu Gaming to push in, and there's so many angles to cover right now. You gotta be careful with that, of course. So they're moving away from A, starting to focus a little bit more heavily onto the middle now. And it's still all about information. Spike is over on B, though, so keep that in mind. Sage is actually the only one. Cypher rotated through spawn and is now moving in as well, but it's only 30 seconds that are left here, so they really need to make a move soon, TM, or it's going to be a bit of a problem. That's a nice one. RCK gets the kill against Dolken. That was great. Have to break through the wall over here now, too, and we'll do that in just a second, but the move is definitely going towards B now, and they're trying to slow down the rotation. Good second kill against MRE from Omen. Nice done. Tries to get more, but Dalla Dave gets the counter kill in. Uh, still got the defenders over here. Uh, Dalla Dave gets another one. And they're starting to move in now, but he's down to 60 HP. Nearly gets the kill, though. Both of the attackers are incredibly low. <laughs> Easy one for him, but Himsy gets the kill. One versus one situation. 33 HP, and PMZ takes him down and goes for the defuse. Nice! Demonic! With another victory here. Yeah, and that's an operator down the drain, so I'm not quite sure if he can still find that one. Omen died a little bit farther up. They went for the ping, but he couldn't make it there in time. But either way, operator is down, and that obviously now means that Visu Gaming is starting to run out of money. So... They go into Light Armor, but outside of Light Armor and Sheriffs, you don't really see anything on there. And I mean, for RCK, it's a ghost, and that's about it. Whereas we have pretty much a full-on rifle setup for Demonic. One exception, Dolken has to go into an SMG here. Didn't quite have... Actually, considering that he has 2,000, he could have sold that uh, SMG and gone into that. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Wall is already up. It's a little bit of scout through. Incinerary. It broke through the wall, but that, of course, is going to slow them down quite a bit. And as in this case, they are only freezing the top, so that didn't really slow them down either. That slow off not quite as successful as they were hoping. It slows maybe the rotation from the top down, but that's about it. Omen is already taken down, and Demonic is starting to really dig in deep here. Uh, smoke out everything over on A, and this is incredibly difficult for Visa Gaming to break through. Not only are they down one player already, they are playing a 4 versus 5 right now, but breaking through this, good luck with that. It was like two players just trading their guns on this. That gate is already down, nobody's coming in from behind, Sage is making sure of that, and the rotation is happening. I mean, they can't really break through this, and they know it too. So at least Hyba is sitting on the left. Playing this a little bit safe. Uh, oh, oh, oh. That could do some damage. Yep. And he ate a bit more than he bargained for. There's the old as well. 19 HP, but he still gets the kill. PMZ gets one. Dolgan gets the second. 
It was at least one counter kill, but this is the last man standing situation. And now that feed goes down too. And so, of course, another victory for the defenders. And they are taking the lead with a 3 to 2. Nice setup here for them. Good job. Okay, with that, we now have a small lead, small advantage for them. And of course, the next question is how much more they can get here. RCK has enough money, should be able to afford himself a weapon. And yep, there we go. Straight into an operator. So one operator play for him. Lot of ults ready, by the way. <laughs> Lot of ults. Yeah, gets boosted up towards the top again. And do we get a wall together with it? Yes, of course. Alright, so the little wall boost. Uh, is he peeking out? That's the bigger question, though, of course. <laughs> not so far. Uh, it's not happening just yet. But again, that slow approach over here once Nowhere more. To run. Okay. As the ult, trying to get the hit in. Gets one. Nice. Sova down. Good start. Really good start for Visu Gaming. They get the kill in against the defending Sova. And he was the one covering middle and also the entrance towards B most of the time. So that's already spreading the defenders out a little bit low. Yeah. Covering the angle over here. So slowly starting to push in. It's definitely going to be B from the looks of it. Sage is not moving through just yet, but tries to slow it down as much as she can. Let's also keep Raze in mind over here. Yeah, didn't last long. RCK comes through and gets a kill with the Operator. Covering this one easy. There's still one defender standing down at the bottom. And wow, Linksy with the kill against RCK. Tries for a second, nearly gets it. But Feed just shuts him down. And now that leaves us only with Brimstone. Goes for the ult. Goes for the ult, doesn't get a kill. Problem for him is exactly this setup right here. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> no chance, my friend. Three points versus three right here. Visu Gaming putting another point onto the board now. And they still have the Operator 2. That, of course, initially dropped as Omen was eliminated. But RCK gets it back. But we have an Operator now for at least two players. Actually, in this case, three. Might still have one of the defenders sell the op. And switch weapons, but not... Um, apparently not. Okay, we got three operators in. Daladay first one. MRE is playing the second for them. And we have one of them over on uh, A immediately. Nobody is poking there just yet. But instead, it's going to be an interesting part over here. If MRE is able to uh, get anything done with this. Lot of operator setups now. Revealing area. Yeah, defenders are again trying to hold this one down. Now, of course, over here in the middle, we have Daladev also trying to get an angle where he can get an op shot through. He's going to kind of play against RCK here. He actually gets a, a kill in. That's the first one over there. Ah, there's a nice one. That's a spy carry, actually. Daladev gets one, immediately repositions a little bit. Gets another one. Hyba is down too. Wow. Okay. That didn't start off well since they lost their Cypher player, but now things are looking a little you bit different here. There's the Ras, and Dolkin gets taken down. EPZ on the attacking side is crushing all of a sudden. Uh, MRE gets another kill. Two versus two for now. Two versus two set up. Uh, Dave is trying to move in from behind, but already MRE gets another op shot in. Still a two versus two. Two versus three, actually, and the defenders, they take it. Nice. Four to three. Yeah, job well done. Demonic with another good round here. And not allowing Bizu Gaming to uh, get any kind of foothold in this game. So far, they did incredibly well with this. Both of the ops still also in play. Didn't lose a single one of them. And, well, here we go. Stinger on RCK. Outside of that, a shoddy. And some sheriffs. Not a whole lot. Trying Here. to move through B, apparently. And on B side. Linksy. Just sitting tight. Trying to try and get the vision out. Yeah, already gets revealed. Yeah, it's a little bit unfortunate for him. They're banging through the wall. Trying to get the kill in against him. Already slowed down. Dolking gets the kill against Hyba. So far, so good. A little bit of a heal happening. Trying to cover the back. As everybody else is pushing in now, too. Yeah, RCK gets the kill. That's actually good for them. Defenders have already locked in a kill and did some damage to him too. So it's not really too shabby. And the rotation is now slowly coming over from A. But it's a little bit late, honestly. 
but they have to account for him. He's sitting here in the middle. He's just waiting for someone to make a move there. All right, C1. Good cluster grenade. I like it. There comes the ult now as well. Doesn't get a shot through though. Five versus three, everybody. Five versus three with the revive that we saw coming in. And here they go again. No kill. He's rotating over. Same time now. PMZ already on the defender side. Moving in. Gets taken down immediately. No chance for him at all. Hyber still with a shotty. Coming around. Gets one shot connected. Both of them have already fallen. There's the kill. That's it. Himzy RCK gets another one. And they get the thrifty victory here. Can easily get the weapons. And they get the spike plan too. All of a sudden, Vizu Gaming not only eliminating the opponent's team, but still having three on the board, getting weapons as they pick up those corpses. And now we have four points versus four on the board. Nicely done. Important round for them. Really important setup. And that was a super important round just simply because not only didn't they allow the opponent to pull ahead, but it was also a thrifty victory. They didn't really go f They had a lot less money that they could spend in that last encounter. So yeah, good setup for them. Right now, still an operator aim, but only one. PMZ starts with the Bulldog win. Bulldog killed against Fit. That was important. Dala Dave takes RCK down. Okay, that's the off player out of commission. That's two down for the attackers. I mean, seriously, guys, this is just blow for blow. The entire game so far. Great semi-final that we have here. Two teams are really, really at it. I like it. Over here. Yeah, the attempt to get the kill. But Hyber doing a fantastic job getting eliminated just a second later. Unfortunate for him. Still have over here also Himzi starting to try and go for the plant again. That would be another 1,500 in the team's hands in the next round. And he gets the plant. There's that. It's two versus four situation, of course, on the map now. So that makes it a bit tricky. Yeah, we still have also EPC sitting over here. There's nobody who's going to come in from behind. I mean, he doesn't know that, but they are really starting to focus very heavily through the door in the middle. Oh, yeah, nearly got the kill, but it was just not enough. And now they could get the kill oh, yeah. against Himzy to finish the round. And that's once more the defenders pulling slightly ahead. Demonic now taking five points against four. Delaying it a little bit. Going late for the defuse here. Simply so that they can pick through the weapons and see what they can grab. By now we have them uh, with... Actually, no, no operator. Operator got lost in the middle, so they don't have one here. Attacker still with enough money. For nearly a full bite, not quite. I mean, we still have the Bulldog in the hands of EPZ, so he couldn't go for a rifle. But they all have a full armor, and there's also a Bulldog in play for the defending side. Demonic has it on Lynxie, so that's at least one player on each team that couldn't afford a full buy right now. But of course, still that small lead right here. Okay, uh, do we get that early wall? Not yet. Well, oh, there's Simzi trying to get a kill connected, or at least a little bit of damage. So far, doesn't really seem like he could get either. Yeah, getting slowed down a little bit. Breaking through that as much as they can. Over here, on the other hand, this is going to be uh, the main focus, at least for now. Simzi takes PMZ down. PMZ eliminates Hyber. Oh, ho, ho, that jump! Nice idea, but it didn't really work out for them. EPC got the kill, probably a little bit surprised by that too. But now they're looking at a very solid position for a round win. They have a 4 versus 2, 4 versus 1 as RCK takes one of them down. And RCK talking about him is actually pretty much staring at the last man standing without knowing it is just behind that. Behind that. <laughs> oh, he goes down! <laughs> Okay, that's at least the kill, but with 22 HP, there's just nothing to be done anymore. And he knows it too, so he just rotates away and says, Okay, boys, this is just not possible anymore. I got another boy. kill. That's all that I can do for you here. But let's just save the weapon and go for the next round. And the story holds true. We go from a tie to a lead to a back to a tie. It's just like one round win after another. We might actually go into the new overtime. That was introduced with the last patch for competitive here. So in case that you're not quite aware of it, you can now, uh, in competitive, you actually have to take a lead of two rounds instead of playing just simply the last one out. So, might be that we are seeing this here today. Okay, party time. 
Let's go and see what they can afford here, because as you can already tell, at least PMZ won't be able to go for a full buy. Sheriff and light armor, that's what it is. So they're trying to... They're actually buying at least some that stuff, but there. obviously always with the next round in mind. We have Dala Dave trying to head straight into that Guardian. That new Guardian setup. And yeah, we're going to focus a little bit on him. He's been playing some fantastic rounds for the team now. Some good operator play too. Let's see if the Guardian aim is also on point as he's trying to hold on to that rotation over on B. By the way, also talking about it over yeah, here. Yeah. MRE firing. Uh, not hitting the window here. But yeah, that's already the first smoke. Pushing through. One down. Can they get another one? That's the question. Over here. Nope. No chance. Hyber has none of it. Hyber is moving in. He takes one. He takes two. Takes three. Easily. Oh. <laughs> Hyber. Come on, my friend. Calm down, brother. I mean, we're going to take another look at this one really quickly. So he got the first two kills. And uh, then, as you can see, gets the easy one around the corner. Smoke disappears topside. Gets another kill in quickly. Great job by him. And that should allow them to take another lead now. I mean, there's the last man standing on the map. And that's Dalton. <laughs> He's actually sitting right next to Cypher. But nobody is making a move at this point. They're trying to hunt him down. He only has an SMG. He only has a Spectre. It's not like he is running around with an AWP here. So I'm not quite sure how much they're going to risk. But as you can already tell, over here... If he, if he just moves around the corner, he would have had a free shot at him. <laughs> Yeah! No! Yeah, they get him, okay. There's a nice ledge actually to stand on, so it's a pretty difficult difficult angle. There's not a lot of vision that you can have on that position without moving straight from the front. So there it is, the lead, for, I think for the first time actually for Visu Gaming. Uh, no, they won, the, they won the early two rounds, but ever since they won round one and round two, this is the first time that they've taken the lead here. And it's obviously the last round in the half as well. And we have two operators, one for MRE again, one for Lynxie, and still that SMG for Dala Dave. And it's rifle time for the opponent. So, yep, off we go. Play through the middle. Uh, careful here, RCK is actually smoked off. First kill is actually in. He gets the kill against Dala Dave. In the meantime, wall is off, and there's the rewife. Okay, nicely done. Oh, is that all coming through? Not yet. So they're trying to come on to B. They're actually on B already. Even Omen teleported in deep. And Hyber got another kill in. He's a little bit low here. Gets healed from Sage though. So it's a 5 versus 4 after all right now. And he's trying to hold the position right here. And the defenders will have to funnel through this one. Yeah, the spike is already planted. His position is at least revealed. Nice. PMZ gets the shot. Well done by him. He's able to get the Vandal kill in. RCK with another one against Dolken though. Two versus three. They're starting to move through, but this is not looking good for the defenders. But PMZ is getting one. But EPC takes him down. And that's a two-point lead. EPC even with the rewife. And now it is time for the switch. And unfortunately, there's where we have a new bug in play. As you can see here, pretty much the game has been reduced to a 1v1 on the board. Doesn't make it impossible to cast, but obviously I won't be able to show you the entire loadout for the rest of the second half here. At least having the idea of what one of the players buys gives us usually an indicator of what the team is trying to do here. If it's a full buy that is available, if you're going to see at least a bit of a yeah, full-on eco round or whatnot. But obviously it's not really ideal. Something that Riot definitely has to patch soon, TM. But we have the lead. We have the lead right now for Visu Gaming, and now they're sitting on the defender side. And let's see what they can do in the pistol round right now. They're heavily stacking A, by the way. So they only have... I mean, EPC is pretty much the only one that is sitting in the middle. Nobody on B. Absolutely nobody. I mean, to be fair, we got Cypher, of course, in the position where he has a camera over on B, so there's at least that. But yeah, they are stacking this very, very heavily. And it seems, honestly, like the move from the attacking team is going on to B now. So Cypher is going to be in a spot where he has to double-check their camera. He already does it a little bit. Doesn't really see any kind of movement over here just yet. 
We have Himzi moving over now too, slowly making the, the rotation, again, yeah. trying to uh, check in the window what's happening. And they know that they're there. The immediate reaction. You see them immediately starting to move over. Uh, and off we go. You can also see the silhouettes. That's another little bit of a bug that unfortunately was introduced here by Riot, but it's only in the first round. The so silhouettes are wrongly colored uh, for some players, but that usually disappears after the round. Ah, good shot though. Himzi with 23 HP only is able to get another kill in. So far the defenders are doing a great job here. Couple of shot darts out, only t only three attackers are still in. Yeah, and this is not looking too good. I mean, MRE gets one, RCK, that's a three versus one, and they are hunting him down right now, and RCK is the one to finish it. Linksy goes down, and that's another point on the board for Visu Gaming. They are heavily pulling ahead right now. Job well done. This is usually also when we have the uh, outlines in the correct colors again. So at least that bug solves itself more or less after the uh, first round on the second half is over. But this one unfortunately doesn't quite disappear. But as you can see, Dala Dave with no real investments into weapons. When it comes to equipment, we have now SMGs for Visu Gaming, so there's a Spectre already in the hands of RCK. Usually what we have is a focus onto armor, so also here reflected again with the heavy armor that was bought by the open player. Whereas a Sheriff for Dala Dave is all that we got there. Gives you a lot of one-shot potential still, that especially with headshots of course, which is one of the main reasons why a lot of players go for it. Has to be a bit of a slow move now from... Uh, Visu Gaming, this is an important round to win. You don't want to lose this. This is not a good start. Hyba goes down. Yeah, there's one kill and good damage on the second, but that's not enough to take him down. So still an advantageous situation for the team in uh, the red. Demonic, the attackers, have now started to take a bit of a lead here. All right. Over to the right, we see Brimstone. That's gonna be an interesting battle. And he gets it! Headshot, easily! Nicely done, Himsy with a kill. Three versus three now. Okay, EPZ as well. He takes Dala Dave down. And all of a sudden, we are back to two remaining players for the attackers. Bit of an awkward scenario as well. Let's double check Sage real quickly. He has the heal ready. Okay, so there we go. Yeah, still. I mean, they don't really have any weapons on them, so they weren't really able to pick those corpses clean, that's the problem. If they can push forward and maybe recover some of the weapons, that would be great. But now they're only relying on uh, pistols, and that's not going to be uh, enough in the long run. We are 20 seconds into the, this, or 20 seconds are left, so they really have to make a move, and they're being slowed down heavily. I don't really think they can place that spike. That doesn't really look good. They're getting slowed down every single step of the way. They're trying to make the move right now. Ah, nine seconds remaining. But there's the kill. And there's the double. Ah, Cypher gets two kills in. And that's now nine points to five. Visu Gaming, ladies and gentlemen. Pulling ahead pretty aggressively. Demodic, after playing a great first half, is now starting to uh, slowly be in a bit of trouble. But then again, as mentioned before, this is the round that really matters. This is the round where you will be able to afford a full buy if you're the attacking team. So uh, now you need to go for the win here. Honestly, what you can expect now, or what you would expect, would be a victory for Demonic in this round and then uh, the back and forth will happen again. But if you lose that attacking side, then you are in a ton of trouble. And that's a little bit of a problem. And, well, the defenders already got two kills in. So, that's not really a bad start. It's three attackers that are still here. There's another shock dart coming in. He gets another one in that does a little bit of damage. Guys, this might be an absolute disaster for the attackers. With only three of them still in play. Yeah, they find one. They know exactly where he is. And they get the kill. Himsy takes MIE down. <laughs> Dolken. He's incredibly low himself. Dolken is low, but Dala Dave at least with one kill. Two versus two set up now. Let's take a look over at RCK here. Breaks through the wall up at the top. Oban trying to go straight into the smoke. Is he going to be able to get a kill here? Camera is already out. And they're still poking here. Teleports again. Oh, Feed got the kill. Nice. Two versus one and the spike hasn't even been planted yet. And RCK gets Dala Dave. What a disaster for Demonic. They lose another round, and they just lost the round where they were finally able to afford a full buy, and now they're really in trouble. Now they're really in trouble.
That's a lot of money for these who gaming. That's a full buy for them. And it's a forced ego for Demonic. The only thing that they have is armor, a couple of sheriffs, 10 to 5. They have 5 points behind already. Guys, this is a problem. This is a really, really big problem for them right now. This is not a round that you're supposed to lose. This is a round that you're supposed to win. Those were incredibly important kills in the early stages. Bit of a half smoke going on there as well. Damage to the classic grenade on Omen as they're pushing through the middle over here. But, yep. Okay, repositions very quickly towards the other side. Okay, gets that out too. Tries to move through. They get one. But there's the double kill. And that's, of course, a weapon in their hands now. Uh, in addition to that too. All four of them still in the middle. Defenders only with three. Only with three. Oh, but look at him coming through for the team time and time again. A Cypher player. Feed with the important kill. Three versus three situation though. Still in the corner over here. Just waiting. Himsy. Uh, yes, got to be careful too. EPZ got a shot in. Playing the operator for them. Trying to also look down on B if someone is making a move there. So far, that's not really the case. And a lot of patience over here for him. He's just sitting in that corner saying, like, you come around this one and I'm going to drop you. Three versus two. Three it. versus two right now. And EPC is looking through the middle again, but of course, it's completely smoked off. Then again, Feed is standing right there. Slowing them down and he gets the headshot. PMC is that last man standing. Can he at least get that plant? And it seems like it's the case. Yes. Spike planted. That was important. Knows exactly about the position. No problem whatsoever. Can tell the team they come around. Take him down. Dalton eliminated. Triple for feet. But at least the plant. At least the spike plant was there. That was important. That was money. There was money in their hands. And they needed it. But it's a six point lead. Six point lead for Vizu Gaming and it is not going to get any easier anytime soon. Now they should be able to afford some proper weapons and Dala Dave even is able to afford oh, himself an operator. Still, tricky setup for them now. Super difficult. And talking about operators, I mean EPC still has one as well. EPC is sitting here with his operators already looking for a bit of a wall boost that he could of course set up. Yep, first thing that he does, puts the wall into place, goes around the corner, sees the camera, and immediately falls back. That, on the other hand, is a good start for this round. RCK goes down as Dalla Dave says, like, hey, baby, you're not the only one that can play with an operator. Got a present for you, too. Got a bullet with your name on it. Uh, on the other hand, does he know that? Nope, he doesn't. There's the kill. Hyba gets one, repositions with the C4 immediately. Could recover that operator, of course. I uh, could move in for that. But there's a little bit more cover. They don't want to uh, give him the operator that easily. Still, 11 to 5. The defenders with a great start thus far. And as you can see here in the middle, ah, EPZ is still standing there and you saying, like, yep, that one's mine. Okay, there's the rewife. Himsy should know where exactly that happened, so he is still trying to wait and see if they're going to push around the corner. Which doesn't really seem to be the case. It seems like B is going to be the next target for Demonic. And EPC in the middle is saying thank you very fucking much as he's getting another shot through. Trying to get even a couple of blind hits in with those wall banks that we see coming from him. But of course, there's also Hyba. Hyba coming in with the first grenade. EPC gets another kill. Uh, EPC is still looking good over here. Gets another one. And BAM! Four kills for him. Too easy, my friend. Too fucking easy. Yeah, comes around easily right there. Scoping. I don't need no fucking scope. This one he takes and boom. That's the shot. And that's now first match point for the defenders. That, on the other hand, is... Yeah, there we go. Three ults on both sides. Trying to make the same play as it seems. Setting up the wall, positioning himself just to make it a little bit more tricky to spot him. Checks around the corner here. It's a pretty nice position for him to have. I mean, honestly, they're not going to make the move for B this time. Instead, we are sitting over on A. We couldn't bolt actually hit him. Yeah! One, two, dodges 
very well. Only the last shot connects. There's the cage already triggered. Get some damage in. Oh, -ho! gets two, gets three. What the victory, the flawless win. And that is Visu Gaming with a victory in this match.